So today we are using Woodlands from Shannon Soapworks um, and Shannon Soaps, I'm sorry, Shannon Soaps Limited and uh, Shannon Soaps are made in Ohio. This is a very nice scent. You could watch the other video that I did specifically on this. I'll try to remember to put a card either up there or up there, whichever way it comes out. So yeah, we're loading directly from the tub. And uh, this is vetiver, cedarwood, and patchouli. It's a very, very nice scent. As you can see, we, we definitely have the growth packed up. So we'll have a nice shave today. I was thinking about doing a straight razor shave, but I would also like to use something LP scent. Um, this won't be a review. This will kind of be like a first, first use video. So I think that's good. We're using the Omega 48 uh, Pro. Yeah, Omega Pro 48. All right, and like I said, we're gonna use the America, America razor. Uh, in this, let me show you guys really quick. In this, we have the Dorco. So we have the Dorco, this is the second use. This is the blade that I used in the Dor little plastic Dorco razor that I really liked. Um, so yeah, this is, that, this is that blade's second use. It worked really well in the other razor, so I'm expecting good things here. And uh, like I said, this is the America razor. It does have the little, um, I'll show you. It has a little magnet on the bottom so you can easily pick up the blades. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool. I did forget about it when loading this blade, so. All right, let's wet the face. Let's get lathering. This will be a pretty quick shave. Um, we had the baby's party today. So this is like, oh, one of our, our board bristles popping out. We had the baby's party today, so I'm pretty tired, pretty worn out. However, my wife is probably more tired, more worn out than I am, but it is what it is. For me, it's more like a fun thing. Socializing, being, you know, drinking, whatever. And um, for her, it's more like a make everybody happy. Do you need anything? Do you need anything? That type of, it's like, you gotta just chill and you gotta just roll with the punches. Like, you know? The baby's not gonna, this thing is shedding, shedding bristles like I've never seen. The baby's not gonna remember this anyways. You know, he's, he's a year old, you know? Just relax. But moms will be moms, I suppose. And it is what it is. Had a good time. I didn't drink as much alcohol as I thought I would have drank. Um, I did drink quite a bit, but not as much as I, I would have thought. Um, I'm not a huge alcohol drinker. Like, I drink in social occasions, if I'm at a bar, that type of thing. But like, on a day that I don't have anybody, or on a week that I don't have anybody coming over or doing anything, I won't just have alcohol. I, I won't just have beer in the fridge or anything, you know? It's more so for special occasions. So, anyway, all right. <clears throat> Let's go with the first pass. Merc. Need something back? It's just, it buzzed through that growth. Holy cow. Like I told Linglefile, I don't think. Wow. I don't, this isn't an, an aggressive feeling razor. It's very, I would say it's very mild feeling. You do not get a lot of blade feel. I am having to put put 
put a little effort into cutting the whiskers. I am having to push a little bit, but I honestly think that with any DE in this, you know, I have heavy growth. I would have to push a little bit. Um, but again, it doesn't feel super aggressive or it feels perfect. Yeah, wow. Loads of hair in the sink. Kind of like these videos where I like save up my shaves and just kind of like do a one big four, three to four days worth of growth shave, you know? Because I know I'm going to get a great shave. As long as I use a sharp enough blade, you know, the hair is basically providing the cushion, the protection. You do need slickness, you know, which this soap provides. <clears throat> but other than that, you know, the hair does provide a lot of protection on the first pass, at least. You can see. I missed that spot right there, and you can see all the hair built up here. It just kind of like cleared it. Pretty good. Pretty good. This razor is pretty heavy. For the review, I'll try to get the materials made or used to make this razor. Um, but yeah, it is. it is a fairly... Heavy razor. Lots of hair in the sink. Hmm. I wouldn't say I could stop after a first pass. I still feel a little bit of uh, stubble and I can definitely see a little bit of stubble so for me at least with this razor combo this uh, this razor and blade combo the Dorco and and the Merica razor I, I don't think I could stop after a first pass maybe with a feather I'm gonna add a little bit of water to this. It's a little pasty. Yeah, the scent is very nice on this. All right, let's add some water and build this up a little bit. Shannon's is another soap that could fall in the same category as Ariana and Evans, although, hmm, let me not say that. <clears throat> it could fall in the same category as far as like single layer thickness as far as how it looks, but like density as far as how it feels. Um, so you could sell like it's not a big plumy lather, but also it feels like it is, you know, as far as the protection. So, oh man, been outside a lot today. My, uh, oh, I think my allergies are acting up here. All right, across the growth. There is no overhang, by the way, on this razor. Feels very smooth.
Yeah, definitely smooth and kind of gives me that impression of the of the Dorco, the little plastic Dorco that I used. It doesn't feel like it has the um, the blade gap or the blade exposure to cut you. Um, I don't. Again, I don't know if that's a real thing or not, but. It doesn't feel like it can. I'm sure it can, but. It just gives me that impression that it cannot, so. I'm gonna finish up shaving. I'm gonna go and grab a bite to eat. Okay, so. Okay, yeah. I could definitely stop there, no problem. We're gonna do a third pass just on the cheeks going up, but um, I could stop there. I'm, I'm completely smooth, going against the grain on the cheek. I'm sorry, on the, on the chin strap. The cheeks, you can still hear. I think you can hear, anyway. Um, I could feel a little bit of growth there. So we're gonna hit that really quick and call it. <clears throat> First impressions of this razor are great. Um, this is actually my second use with this razor. But this is my first video I've recorded with it, so. And the other time I used it, it was just one pass. I just did one pass with the grain, just to kind of feel it out, in all honesty. Uh, let's do cheeks, like I said. We'll do cheeks and neck. This is my first full three pass with this razor, and in all honesty, it really does feel nice. Um, pricing, all that stuff will come in uh, the following video or maybe a video or two from now um, when I'm able to compile the data. I want to weigh this because it's pretty heavy. I'll compare it to the Rockwell 6C that I have because that's another heavy on the heavy side razor. And we'll go from there and um, I'll tell you pricing. If there are any other um, variations of this color or handle or whatever. I'll give you a better look at this razor. <laughs> But yeah, it's been fun not having um, any big jobs or meetings that I like need to look, not that I don't look presentable when I have a couple of days of growth, but you know what I mean, like having a little bit of stubble or like that, that 12 o'clock shadow, you know, it sometimes may not look as, as good as it could. Trixie, what's going on? My wife apparently left the dog in the room a bit earlier when I was looking over there. She's on the other side of the door. Um, so yeah, I haven't had any big meetings or anything. So I really haven't had to upkeep as much as I typically do. I do have a little bit of... Yeah, right there. Like I said, first impressions, I really like the weight of this, the handle size, it's good, it's good. I can't really ding it, it's not super short, so it's okay. Um, I like that there's no blade exposure on the edges here. Um, it's a very mild feeling razor while still being quite efficient. 
That's what I'll say. And like I said previously, you know, this is one, these are, this is one of the razors that it feels like on my skin. Now, the first the first blade I used with it was a Voskod, and then this one is the Dorco. So it may just be that they're both mild razors, so this helps. But it feel, it, I get the impression that it can't cut me. I don't know. You know, maybe that's completely incorrect. I'm sure it's incorrect, right? Like, you could always cut yourself. But, oh yeah, this scent. Ooh. Ariana and Evans, Asian pear. Such a nice, nice scent. <clears throat> yeah, like, I'm sure you can cut yourself with it, but... I don't know. I think you have to try, and you'd have to try with that Dorco as well, in my opinion, to cut yourself. You'd have to really try to do that. And uh, anyway, that's the first impressions of the Merc Razor, guys. Uh, magnetic, not base, but magnetic handle, I guess. The bottom of the handle is magnetic. Um, I'll show you again. It's just a three-piece, if I can get my slippery hands on this. So very nice. The knurling on the inside, beautiful. The machining on this is very nice as well. It kind of has, it's like bead blasted finish. It's not, or, or like a satin finish. It's not a super high polish, which I'm also pretty cool with. I, I kind of like that too. Um, that's the base plate. I don't know if there's extra base plates. We'll go over that in the actual review. And then this is the top cap. Oops, upside down, sorry. Nope, that was right side up, sorry. There you go. So the, the top cap, and then you could tell like the machining on this. Look at the thread. The thread's there. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up or not with my fat noggin in the way. Sorry, yeah, you probably can't see. But the thread, like the, the quality on this is just superb. So, at least the one I have in front of me. So thanks LP for sending it. Like I said, in the next video or two, I will have my full review, kind of go over everything with you guys. Maybe I will use a more aggressive razor in that shave. Maybe a feather, maybe I'll just throw a feather in there and we'll kind of get through a shave with the feather and kind of see how it compares with the Voskot and the Dorco. So, all right guys, thanks for watching and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next shave.